few verses from Psalms 123. Unto you I lift my eyes, O Lord, O you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of the servant look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Let us look to God in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious, loving and living Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for adding this day in our lives, for keeping us sound and safe throughout the past night and giving us the refreshing rest of last night for being with us throughout the past week so that we could enjoy our lives to the fullest under your care and your guidance. Gracious God, even as we begin this new week, we commit ourselves into your hands. And gracious God, even as we come to your very presence this morning to worship you, we claim your promise which says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of you. And acknowledging your very presence, O God, we surrender our lives to thy throne of praise and pray, O God, that you would lead us, that we would be people who would be able to worship you in truth and spirit. Help us, O God, that we may worship you, fill with your spirit, and O God, lead us and guide us. Let our praises be acceptable in thy sight. And this morning, O oh God, even as we pour out our supplications, our petitions to the throne of grace, it's our prayer this morning, O oh God, that you would answer them from your heavenly abode. Unto your hands we commit this worship service and pray that you would bless each one of us, all who have joined in this virtual Sunday worship service, you will bless each one of us that this worship service will be a blessed experience for each one of us. Unto your hands we commit this worship service. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. In the opening of our worship service, we'll sing a beautiful hymn which is based on the Psalm, Psalms 23, 3rd, written by King David. And it is found in the Methodist hymnal number 68. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want.
Affirm our faith as found at the back of the hymnal number 738. Let us unite in this historic confession of Christian faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Friends, we like to welcome each one of you to this uh, virtual Sunday worship service and it is our prayer this morning that wherever you are, may God keep you sound and safe. It is our prayer this morning that this worship service will be a meaningful experience for each one of us. The announcements are as follows. The virtual Sunday worship service begins at 9 a.m. Next Sunday again, we'll meet online at 9 a.m. Friends, uh, we'd like to thank God for all the answered prayers. We've been praying for many things and God has heard our prayers and God has answered our prayers. We'd like to thank that many of our students could clear their examinations successfully. We prayed for many of our loved ones as they traveled uh, from here to many places and we like to thank God that God granted them the traveling mercies that they could reach their destination safe and sound and it's a prayer that God would keep them sound. We like you to pray for the students who are appearing for competitive examinations we also request you to pray for students who have joined the online classes and so please pray for students and teachers as they struggle with this online classes. We request you to pray for the government functionaries all over the world and especially our country even as uh, uh, lots of states have been affected by the natural disasters floods and other things and so please remember all those people who have been affected by natural disasters in your personal and in your family prayers <clears throat> following people celebrate their birthday this week miss apurva rao celebrates her birthday today that is on 9th of august mrs anurita titus celebrates her birthday on the 12th of August, Mr. Nishant Stephen Appaswamy, son of Mr. Stephen Appaswamy, celebrates his birthday on the 12th of August. Mr. Manji Titus, son of Mr. and Mrs. Donald Titus, celebrates his birthday on the 13th of August. And Mrs. Nikita Pavar celebrates her birthday on the 14th of August. Please do remember these loved ones as they begin a new year in this week that may God bless them. God who has sustained them throughout the past year would continue to bless them that they in turn would be blessing to the people around them. 
Friends, at this time, even as we go to God in prayer, we'll request you to specially uphold our loved ones who are not too well. Request you to pray for Mr. Martin Lal Uncle as he recopes. Please pray for him. Pray for Mrs. Rina Lata Williams as she still recopes. We pray, request you to pray for her. Dr. Theophilus and Dr. Arup Nayak. Please remember these are loved ones in your prayers. Mrs. S.M. Manu and Mrs. Noah. Remember them in your prayers. Also, we request you to pray for all those who have joined in the virtual Sunday worship service. Friends, uh, I don't know this morning why you have joined in this worship service, but it's on my prayer that even as you join, even as you pour out your heart to God, it's my prayer that God would walk down the aisle and unburden every burdened heart and would answer to all the petitions and prayers as you pour out to the throne of grace. It's our prayer that God would bless each one of us. At this time, let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray. Most gracious, bountiful, living and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you, we worship you, God, for who you are. For you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the only sovereign and living God. We praise and worship you, O God, because you are a prayer answering God. In the days past, O God, we have experienced, and this is our testimony, O God, that even as we poured out our supplication, even as we brought our burdens, even as we brought our prayer points to the throne of grace, you graciously answer to the prayers. And gracious God, we Thank you this morning, this morning, O oh God, for all the answered prayers. Gracious God, we want to thank you for who you are. For you are the King of Kings. You are the Creator. And even as this morning, as we worship you, O oh God, and as we look around ourselves, as we behold the beautiful greenery, the nature, the singing of the birds, and all around ourselves, we want to thank you, O oh God, that you have created everything so beautifully. We want to thank you, O oh God, that even as your word says that you have created human in your own image and likeness, that human would always have fellowship with you. Human would always be in close communion with you. And gracious God, we want to thank you that even though when human erred and fell into the pit of sin, your love did not recede, but in your agape love, O oh God, you sent your only begotten Son with this promise that whosoever believeth in him would never die, would never perish, but have eternal life. Gracious God, we want to thank you that you have kept and sound and safe. This morning, O oh God, even as we pour out our heart in praise and thanksgiving, we want to thank you, O oh God, for keeping us sound and safe in this backdrop of pandemic COVID-19, when thousands of people have lost their lives. Thousands of families have lost their loved ones. Many people have been affected by the coronavirus. And oh God, many people are struggling because of the fallout of the lockdown. We thank and praise you, oh God, that you have kept us sound and safe. You have been with us through the ups and downs of your lives. You have been our Ebenezer. God, our help thus far. And this morning, oh God, we want to thank you for all your blessings that you have showered upon each one of us in abundance. Gracious God, at this time, we very specially want to pray for the world over as he struggles with the challenges of COVID-19, where there is a sh sharp rise in the people we are affected because of coronavirus. Father, we pray that you would enable, oh God, that let this pandemic cease. Let this pandemic stop. And oh God, we pray, let the havoc of the coronavirus stop and stop forever. Father, we specially pray, oh God, for the world over, that you would strengthen that it may be able to face the challenges of the COVID-19 very boldly. We especially pray for all those people who have been affected. We pray for those who have lost their loved ones. 
that you would give them the peace that surpasses all human understanding. We pray, O oh God, for people who have been affected, that you would touch them and heal them completely. We pray, O oh, especially, O oh God, for our own country, when our country is going through a very difficult time. On one hand, the country has been... Uh, facing lots of challenges because of the natural calamities in Bombay, in Maharashtra, and also in West Bengal and other parts of the country. Father, we pray that you would enable that uh, people would find solace. We pray that you would give them the comfort. You, we pray, O oh God, that you would give them protection, that you would safeguard them. Father, we pray that you would bless our country. We pray, O oh God, for the wisdom for our country's leaders as they govern our country. We pray for our Prime Minister. We pray for all the Chief Ministers of different states. We pray for the bureaucracy. We pray for all those people on whose shoulder the responsibility is placed to lead and guide the country. Pray, O oh God, that they would be able to take proper decision. We pray for the leadership that they will be yeah, take cognition of the priorities of this, O oh God, so that they would be focused on those things which are important pertaining to the lives of the citizen. Father, we pray that you would bless our country, the government. We pray, O oh God, for our president. We pray, O oh God, for all the governors of different states, we commit them also into your hands. And Father, we pray that you would bless our country even as it goes through a very difficult part, time of its life. Father, we pray that you would bless our country. At this time of chaos and confusion, O oh God, when the world over is facing lots of challenges, when there is so much of chaos and confusion, God, we pray, let your bride, let your church become a channel of blessing. Let your church become a channel of hope, peace, love and happiness. Father, we especially pray for the church world over, irrespective of any denomination, we commit the, your church to the throne of grace and pray that you would bless your church and use it mightily as a channel of blessing. We especially want to uphold our own church, the Methodist Church in India. We pray, O oh God, for all our bishops, we commit them into your hands. We pray especially for the Methodist Church. Uh, we pray, O oh God, for the MP Regional Conference, our bishop, Bishop our Bishop, our Honorable Bishop, Bishop M.A. Daniel into the throne of grace. And Father, we pray that you would bless our Bishop, the leadership of the church, and pray that it will become a channel of blessing for the, for the people around the vicinity. We commit our own church to the throne of grace. We especially want to uphold English Methodist Church family and pray that you would bless our family church. We pray that you'd be with our church. We especially want to uphold all the elderly people of the church, people who are prone to the sickness, people who are prone to the coronavirus. Pray, O oh God, that you would safeguard them. And pray, O oh God, that through their experience, you will lead and guide this church. Father, this time, especially want to pray for our church. We pray for the pastorate committee. We pray for each and every organization of our church. Pray that you would bless our church. Pray for the WCS. We pray for the Methodist men. Pray for MYF. We pray especially for the Sunday school. Father, we pray that you would lead and guide the young ones as they grow. Father, we pray that you bless them. Father, this morning we especially want to uphold all those, our loved ones who are not too well. We pray, O oh God, for Uncle Martin Lal. We ask your healing touch upon him. We pray for Mrs. Rina Latal Williams. We pray that you bless both our senior ones as their bodies are frail. We pray that you continue to strengthen them in the inner being that they in turn would be a blessing to the family and to the church. We pray for Dr. Theophilus, we pray for Dr. Arup Nayak, we pray for Mrs. S.M. Manu and for Mrs. M.J. Noah. We commit them into your hands even as our loved ones are struggling with health issues. God, we pray that you stretch forth your hand of healing, touch and heal them completely, that they would uh, bring their life as a testimony to, uh, to the community. We at this time especially want to pray for those of our loved ones who are celebrating the birthday this week. We pray, O oh God, for Miss Arup, Miss Apurva Rao, 
we commit her to the throne of grace we pray for mrs anurita titus we pray o oh god for mr nishan stephen we pray o oh god for mr manjit titus and father we specially want to bring to the throne of grace mrs nikita pawar even as all these loved ones begin a new year in the life pray o oh god that you would bless them we thank you god for being with them throughout the past week throughout the past year blessing them leading them guiding them and specially safeguarding them and as they step into the new year of new year of the life father we pray let this coming year be a very blessed year a christ centered year where you lead them guide them and bless them so that they in turn would be blessing to the people around them father we specially want at this time commit our church to the throne of grace we pray that you would bless our church we pray even as the church goes through a lean phase of the life when we are not able to congregate as a church we pray that you would continue to strengthen us in the inner being father we pray that you would enhance our faith during this time of covid 19 and pray oh god that you would sustain them father this morning even as we wait upon you to speak to us we commit your servant to the throne of grace so that this morning you will speak to your people even through your servant committing all of us and summing up all our petitions and prayer we ask this prayer in the most blessed and the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ who taught us say while we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom thy power and thy glory forever and ever amen the scripture portion for this morning has been taken from psalms psalms 121 at this time i request mrs uh, nikita pawar to please come and read from psalm psalms 121 please today's reading has been taken from psalm 121 i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth he will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade at your right hand the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night the lord shall preserve you from all evil he shall preserve your soul The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Here ends the reading. Let us look to God in prayer. Even as we quiet in our hearts this morning, O God, even as we wait upon you, it's our prayer, O God. that you would pour out your holy spirit upon each one of us that this morning we will be able to see your word hear your word and to comprehend your word in this time difficult time of covid 19 we pray oh god let your words speak to each one of us let your word enrich us and encourage us in your hands we commit each one of us in christ name we pray amen the scripture portion this morning i have taken for meditation is a scripture that is found in all the three semitic religion and as a matter of fact this scripture portion is famous in all the three semitic religion psalms 121 it is found in zabur in uh, judaism it is found in psalms 121 in christianity and as ayatul kursi in quran surah al bakr verse 255 it says in zabur it is said the prayer 
for the journey in the psalms it is entitled as lord our protector and in quran it is titled as ayatul kursi in quran it says god there is no deity but him the alive the eternal neither slumber nor sleep overtaketh him unto him belongeth whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth who can could intercede in his presence without his permission he know that which is in his front of them and that which is behind them while they encamp nothing of his knowledge except what he wills his throne includeth the heavens and the earth and he is never weary of preserving them he is the sublime the tremendous in 1840 when david livingston one of the most famous missionary to the continent of africa when in 1840 when he was planning to go as a missionary to africa he pondered over which psalm he should take as a blessing from god as a road map from god eventually he zeroed down on psalm 121 and throughout his stay in africa and his missionary activity david took this psalm as the protection and promise of god although nothing is known about the author or the occasion on which this psalm was composed but some scholars say that this psalm was composed in exilic period when the people of god were in exile that was the time it was composed some scholars say that when they were returning from exilic period this was a song of journey some scholars say when they were in captivity they would sing this song and some scholars say that when the people of god took the annual pilgrimage to the city of jerusalem they would sing this psalm as mercy from god protection from god they would sing this psalm it was not just for physical ascent but this psalm led them to god in their own personal walk with god and so this became they became the stepping stone to god's heart for their journey and life this morning even as we look into this psalm i would like to draw a parallel between the biblical journey of the people of god and our own journey of faith during the time of covid-19 the biblical journey of people of god and our own journey to during this covid-19 pandemic but before that even before we go into psalm something to ponder upon friends uh, the f- uh, pandemic has taken over the world with a surprise and it has almost made the world upside down there are many f- negative fallout of the coming of the pandemic covid-19 pandemic this pandemic has taken many lives many people have lost their lives many have lost their loved ones many have been affected and the whole saving and the money was spent for their treatment the lockdown because of the pandemic has really created havoc in the lives of people many have been many have become unemployed and the economic growth has been destroyed the hotel industry has gone or the tourism industry has gone uh, or are just in the survival but there are some positive fallout of the covid-19 like the the improvement in the air quality has improved the air quality has improved the beaches have become very clean because not many people are there there are less noise pollution and environmental loss and so many positive things have come out but 
there is some tangible fallout the pandemic has brought some harsh reality and broken many false assumption but even as we look deeper into the pandemic and the fallout of this pandemic covid-19 there are some positive aspect of covid-19 pandemic the pandemic has destroyed many god and goddesses that we human had constructed around ourselves there are many myths that this pandemic has destroyed in the course of time we human had created many modern day idols and we were worshiping these idols as graven images and so the pandemic has destroyed many of them the idols of power the idols of powers are those idol created things that give us a sense of significance a personal wealth and when but these were destroyed by the coming of pandemic the idols of pleasure the our money the bank balance the property that we used to enjoy and depend upon and we had almost made them as demigod has been destroyed by the coming of covid 19 the idols of pleasure have been destroyed and many of these things have been destroyed once upon a time the world boasted about the worldly prosperity and somehow the worldly prosperity had almost become as a demi god we have made made it as an idol as a uh, image to be worshiped but the world over the this the, uh, the covid 19 has completely destroyed them the worldly prosperity was considered as a demi god the world over the earthly prosperity was considered as a pillar of security and safety both at individual level as well as at the family level also at the nation level at the international level but somehow that has been destroyed the worldly prosperity could not save us the the pillar of security and safety has been destroyed then there was the advancement of knowledge we almost took the advancement of knowledge as a demi god humans always took pride that they know everything human thought that their knowledge can save us they know everything about the universe the galaxy but this tiny virus has destroyed the myth and destroyed this presumption and uh, now we understand how fail and how short limited we are the humans invention the human invention and technological development had almost become as a demi god but then till now this has been destroyed because all our technology all our invention have could not save us from the pandemic and even now we are just in the process of finding an antidote for the corona virus the assumption that man is invincible has been destroyed completely the corona virus <coughs> has affected each and every human being on the face of this earth the myth that corona cannot touch us or no sickness can touch us has been destroyed and so all these uh, demi god and goddesses that we had made around ourselves has been destroyed or ha- the myth has been destroyed coming back to the psalm psalms 121 it starts with an answer which is like a blanket answer to the question of doubt it is like a uh, answer which covers all the questions of doubt the answer comes when the psalmist asks my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth ben franklin once said god helps those who help themselves but here we find the scriptures teaches very strongly that 
God's help teaches that God helps those who seek his help and none of us are safe until we take refuge in God the hebrew word for help is also signifies protection god is pictured as a guardian person who protects our life person who helps us and his help is always very present the danger before us may not be the same danger as that was depicted in the psalm in the journey of life of the people of god but nevertheless the danger also persists now and the text suggests three ways in which god protects us from danger there are three ways in which god protects us from danger the first help or the first protection that we experience is that the psalm says god protects us from physical danger the psalmist very beautifully says god protects us from physical danger in verse 3 and 4 it says i lift up my eyes to the hills from where comes my help my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth he will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps you will not slumber behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber no sleep the psalmist is very strongly saying talking about the physical danger the danger of falling when you walk in the mountainous uh, treacherous path you are prone to falling or slipping down and he says but the god will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps israel will neither slumber nor sleep in other word what the psalmist is saying is that that god is there to protect us physically god sustains us god puts a cover around ourselves friends uh, during this covid 19 the government was uh, bringing giving so many guidelines for protection to wear the face masks to wear the gloves to wear the ppt and so many so forth and so, so many things but beside many of these protection still many of the famous people in india also were affected by corona virus and it shows very strongly that all these guidelines were not able to protect us from corona virus it is only god who can protect few days back when my wife and my daughter were traveling to bangalore till we went we left them we bid them farewell at the airport and as they were going we told them to do these thing wear the mask wear, wear the hand gloves all those things but then after a point i knew that i cannot do anything it is god only who can protect them it's god only who can shield them and so in isaiah 54 verse 17 isaiah says no weapon formed against you will prosper because god will protect you the second protection that we enjoy from god the help the protection that we enjoy from god the psalmist says that god shelters us from circumstantial dangers god shelters us from circumstantial dangers sheltering us from circumstantial dangers in verse 5 and 6 not only did the travel had the fear of possibility of falling down or slipping the travelers the fear of possibility of being encapsulated by slipping or falling but there were also many other dangers on the way and to them the hebrew word the psalmist used is god will watch over you god will preserve you god will support you god will aid you and keep guard over you although the psalm talks of god from the circumstantial dangers like sun so that the sun will not smite you by the day 
nor the moon by night but during this time of covid 19 we saw and it is our prayer it is god who can protect us the lockdown has brought in many fallout the negativity of covid 19 to that the psalm says god will watch over you god will preserve you god will support you and put a blanket of support you on you and sustain you few days back i was uh, watching a documentary that came in the national geographic channel and uh, the the uh, the videographer had uh, taken a video of how a uh, mother panda was saving the life of her newborn cub the even as the the cub was born the mother was scared because there were so many threat and dangers for this new- newborn cub and so the mother panda the hum uh, the baby cub was a very small thing just in a uh, in a palm it could come but the mother panda lay over put her complete body over this newborn cub for 28 days so that it could grow it was not suffocated but it came out alive the mother panda saved her cub by laying over the cub to protect somewhat in a similar way god puts over us the blanket of cover sustains us and protects us the third help or the protection that the psalmist very strongly brings out is that he says god will carry us through the journey of faith god will carry us through the journey of faith and the journey of life the psalm 121 is a very progressive psalm it progresses in faith from in the life journey the psalmist acknowledges god's sovereignty and god's help in the first from the verse 1 psalmist says and then he poses a question and then answers it right there and there he says i will lift up my eyes from where will my help come and then he answers says because my help comes from the lord who made heaven and the earth he asks the question who will help me and then he answers my help comes from my god who is the creator of heaven and the earth then he says he will not uh, suffer his foot to be moved in other words he will who will protect us then he says because he that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep in other words because he does not slumber or sleep and that is why he keeps you safe and sound and behold he that keepeth this dal will neither slumber nor sleep then he asks the question the lord is thy keeper and then he answers or proves it by giving the proof he says because the lord is thy shade upon thy right hand and then the fallout of this shade is that the sun will not smite thee by the day nor the moon by night something very important the nature will not harm because the creator of nature is protecting you in other words anything that is created will not harm you because you are the creator is with you and he is protecting you and in verse 7 he says the psalm in verse 7 says the lord shall preserve you from all evil from the forces of darkness the lord will pro- protect you lord will protect you from the power of the evil one and he shall preserve your soul something very important and then he says the lord will preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore the real danger for the child of god was not the slipping in the mountainous terrain it was not that he would fall 
and God would protect you physically. It was not that God would sustain you, but the most important thing is that God will carry you throughout your journey. In Psalms 23 verse 3, David very beautifully says, He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And then he says, he restores my soul. God sustains us. The psalm is, is talking about God's protecting grace. Not just in the earthly journey, but God's saving grace for eternity. In Jesus, the death becomes a door to eternity. In Jesus, the death becomes a door to eternity. Our souls become the spiritual part that goes to God. God who sustains us in this earth, in our journey of faith during this time of COVID-19 would carry us through even after in eternity. When David Livingstone was working in the, in, as a missionary in Africa, he experienced this that God was beyond the physical protection. God was beyond the sustenance, the daily sustenance. But God had given them salvation in Jesus Christ. That in Jesus Christ, we are eternally with God because God carries us through. Friends, even as we face the challenges of COVID-19, it's our prayer that God would protect us God would sustain us and God would lead us through in our journey of faith. May God bless each one of us. Let us look to God in prayer. Let us pray. We thank you, O God, for speaking to us. We thank you, O God, for being with us in our challenges, in our struggles, in our life journey. And Father, this morning we thank you for sustaining us in our faith journey and pray O oh God that you would bless us that we can always enjoy your blessings and would be a, would continue to be a blessing for the people around ourselves in Christ's name we pray Amen my
Gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you that you have led us thus far as an Ebenezer. And God, even as we continue with the journey of faith during this time of COVID-19, when we feel, when we find so many have been affected. Many lives have been destroyed. Many families have been broken. Many have lost their loved ones. We stand strong in faith because you are there to carry us through. And gracious God, this morning, we thank you for your son. The salvation that he has given to us. That this earthly sojourn is not the dead end in itself but it becomes the door to eternity and gracious God we want to commit our lives to thy hand and pray oh God that you would lead us in this life and the life after in eternity we thank you oh God for speaking to us and we commit each one of us our families to the throne of grace our church our community our nation and the world over to thy hands and pray that you would continue to protect us, safeguard us and pray that you would bless us. Into your hands we commit ourselves. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Shall we receive the benediction? <clears throat> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you his peace. And now, by the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the blessings of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each one of us, both now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, we like to thank each one of you for joining in this uh, virtual Sunday worship service. And once again, it's our prayer that God would safeguard each one of us. God would sustain us and continue to bless us. That we in turn would be a blessing to the people around ourselves. We thank you for all those people who helped us in the conducting the virtual worship service. We thank uh, Simi for keeping us in tune so that we could sing these hymns very beautifully. Like to thank uh, Mrs. Nikita Pawar for reading us, the reading the scripture portion for us. Like to thank Abhishek and Henry for not just recording but uh, editing in the flawless uh, way. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you one and all. Thank you so much.